It's Monday. You know what that means, folks. It's Coffin Comics Shopping Network time. Let me give you all a moment to join us. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I know I'm talking to myself. Is there anybody out there? Oh, who's watching me? That's probably me watching myself. <laughs> Haley, oh my God. Good morning, Haley. Welcome to the show. You are the first viewer on the Coffin Comics Shopping Network. Yay! Woo! Okay, let me give everyone a couple seconds. Uh, I want to start things off by showing you all this. Boom. Boom. We have exactly little less than one hour to get your orders in for the Art Germ exclusives. Now this is what we have left, everyone. We sold out of the hollow foils. We have sold out of metals. We have sold out of a lot of things for this promo. Regular Art Germ edition right there. Those are still available. You have exactly one hour. The vegan art, I can't say the name that it really is printed, but I'll show you the back, what it says on the back. Because, you know, for some reason I can't say it, but I'll show it to you. Um, these are the two editions for comics of regular vegan. There is no trade dress on it, meaning it is clean. It's just straight up art. It's beautiful. Uh, just really beautiful. We also still have a few metal cards left. Not many. There's still some 11 by 17 prints. Not that many either, but we've got them. And then we also have the classic um, Sorceress one. This is what we did for uh, Unholy Ruin Kickstarter. Boom. And then there's also the really fine art prints. There's still a few of these left. This is some really gorgeous paper stock here, folks. Anyone who has ordered these from us before, um, Brian goes all out on the quality of the paper. It is definitely something you want to frame. These are not some things you just want to tack to a wall. This is something you want framed professionally and just, I think, of some red velvet or a black velvet background on this. Just go to town. These are really beautiful prints, and we are offering, again, the Sorceress. This is also a fine art print. Gorgeous pieces. These are the 11 by 17s. These generally retail for uh, $16. So get them while we can. Right here, all this, these two babes right here, these gorgeous, gorgeous books. All the orders need to be in by 5 p.m. today. So we have exactly... 57 minutes to get your orders in and that's it once they're done we're shutting it down and that's what we're publishing there's 199 of the uh, metal prints we are selling out of those fairly quickly as well this is a mock-up but check them out get it while we can let's see if i can put this back on the tripod without knocking anything over Boop -doop. I thought I'd show that stuff to you guys today just to say, hey, um, we've got this great promo. I don't know if we'll ever do anything like this again. I'm sure we will. But this is the first time we've offered something uh, like this uh, that wasn't a Kickstarter. So this is something for you guys. Something, something we're trying new. We're always trying to think out of the box. And this is one of the things they came up with. And I think this is a great way to start things off. So... About 55 minutes left to order the art gym editions that are art gym editions that are available, the regular and the vegan. I can't say the real terminology because I don't want to get in trouble for the Facebook communities. So, regular vegan editions are still available for another 55 minutes. Get your orders in now, and that includes the metal card. It's only 199 made. Scoop them up because once they're gone, they're gone. Um, so yeah. Really, really cool for everyone who has ordered this stuff. Thank you very much. Um, it went crazy on Thursday when we first offered these, and it's just blowing up. So, 
Thank you, everyone who ordered Frost. Um, real quick, I want to show you guys a couple things that um, I have on eBay. Um, and some of this stuff is just stuff that I put on a while ago and it just, I just forgot to mention some of them. But I have a Lady Death apocalyptic, abu <laughs> apocalyptic abuse. Oh my God, I got a case of the Mondays. Apocalyptic Abyss Jewel Edition. This is my last copy. This one just happens, so happens to be signed by Brian. COA in the back with the book. And also, uh, anybody who's been ordering stuff from eBay, thank you very much. I've been throwing in some stickers and also a coupon for the main store. So um, I hope you guys are using those uh, that have been doing the orders um, and enjoying the stickers and whatever fun stuff I throw in. Also on eBay, you can get your books signed now. Your books can get signed via eBay. Just put in your um, notes section or message me that you want the uh, purchases on eBay to be signed. Or let me know. Some people have had some. They wanted signed, some not. So just let me know if you want to split it up that way, if you want everything signed or just a couple things signed. So just let me know in the messages. Reach out to me, and I'll make sure I take care of that for you. Uh, some other neat stuff I have up on eBay. Still got a couple left of the... Unholy Ruin Metal Edition. It's a really stunning piece. I really like this. I wasn't sure about the whole pirate thing when I first heard about this. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, that's flipping beautiful. So this is the Unholy Ruin Metal Edition. I got a few of these left on the eBay store. I think they are all sold out at the main store. <laughs> the regular edition, does it have all the meats and potatoes? Well, the regular edition does have all the meats and potatoes. It just has the text where the vegan version, vegan, um, has no text. So it's just beautiful artwork by Art Germ that is a Lady Death cover. We don't even have the Coffin Comics normally in the Lego. It's actually all the text and everything describing the edition is on the back of the cover. So... Um, but yes, the meat and potatoes are all on the regular edition. Thank you, Joseph. Um, <laughs> man, I gotta say, I think I have the best audience in all of CBSN because you guys make me laugh. Um, and not only that, I like that everyone introduces themselves to each other. So everybody, please introduce yourselves to the group. Everyone say hi. Introduce yourselves. Come on. We got a community here. This is Coffin Comics. Vegan is animal friendly? Yes, Joseph, let's just say it's animal friendly. No additives, no calories, all natural art by Archer. Uh, this is my last one so far. I haven't been able to find these anymore. I have the Unholy Ruin um, Mega Foil Edition. This one is also signed by Brian right up there and I made sure I put in the correct COA. Uh, if you'll notice, we have different colored COAs. The red ones are for like um, Kickstarter editions, graphic novels, um, a majority of the stuff we sell. The silver ones are for like the metals, holographic, metal jewels. We save those ones for the real um, shiny covers, as you may say. They're there to lure, lure, I'm not even gonna attempt that word. Um, you know, fishing reference, lure you in. Yeah, I'm, I'm having the case of the Mondays. Who else has woken up this Monday morning ready to go to work, but you just had to hit snooze three more times? Well, I did it five, so who else has hit the snooze multiple times this Monday? Merciless Onslaught Akaramiya. This is also, I believe, the last one in the company. Yeah. No, I, I think there's a lot of people going to be sending those editions to CGC. When Brian told me that um, you're going to be doing a non-Kickstarter edition of Archer, my jaw hit the floor because we've never done anything like that. So this is a great opportunity. Um, hopefully it is the beginning of uh, many a new thing for us because we're expanding our horizons, we're growing. It seems like every Kickstarter and every week we're just getting bigger and bigger. So thank you everybody. We couldn't do it without you. Oblivion Kiss Vampire Hollow Foil. This is a vault book. 
So right now, this is the lowest number I've had available to offer. So that's a number six. Oh, you want to be in my video? Hey, let's let's try this, Joseph. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try this. All right, boom. Joseph, are you there? Are you there? Are you joining us? I'm going to try to add you to the show, dude. Connecting. Dude, up? hey, this is awesome. How are you? I'm great here in South Georgia. How are you? Uh, where are you uh, joining us from today, man? South Georgia. Yeah, right on. How are you guys doing down there? Hot. Hot? Yeah, it's hot here too. Not as hot as Arizona. Yeah, but in a way, I kind of would trade you some of the humidity, man, because I just need something different besides just constant, nonstop heat. A little humidity wouldn't be bad, to be honest. It does uh, hit you like a, uh, a physical cloud when you walk out the door. I remember being in Chicago visiting family in August, taking out of the shower, and it took like literally eight hours for my hair to dry. It was ridiculous. I'd never experienced humidity like that. This is the longest my hair's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate it. So what kind of stuff do you like uh, collecting? What brings you in today? Well, um, I've just been perusing all the uh, CBSN shows and uh, thank you very much trying to uh, broaden my horizons on the uh, stuff like Lady Death and Vampirella and all that stuff well if there's anything I can do to help you um, message me at through the site at inquiries at Coffin Comics they'll send it right to me let me know what you're looking for and I'd love to do whatever I can to get you hooked up to bro are you guys connected with anything like uh, Comics Elite or 789 or anything like that to my knowledge, no, but we've, we're constantly dealing with so many different groups that it's almost impossible to keep track of it all. So, mm. and then we've only been doing the CBSN um, since uh, mid February. So we haven't been doing it too long, but I'm definitely enjoying it because I get to talk to people like you and some of the other regulars. So one thing I try to do on the show here is make sure everyone introduces themselves talk to each other. Um, I know there's some people that have traded some things for other things so they can get what they want. So there's a good group of people in here and um, hopefully you can meet some nice folks and we can all hook you up with the stuff, man. Yes. It's a little exciting to begin with when you get on these shows and uh, then you see all this stuff that you want and you're like, I can't stop. <laughs> no, it, it's dude. It, it, a comic book collecting is very, um, it's very fun and very addictive because there's just, when, especially when you're dealing with variants and um, sometimes second or third printings of items, um, it just makes it really exciting because it's like, oh, it's a new image or, you know, hey, I haven't seen that artist's uh, version of this cover or stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun to collect. Yeah, I just jumped off the uh, pop train and uh, hopefully we'll have to get back on that. Dude, you know what? Um, I think everyone has that addiction. They thought they get off and then they, they're so smart with their licensing that they'll add something that's like, okay, I have to get that. Damn it. So, no, I agree with you. I'm, I'm glad I don't work in retail stores anymore because, um, yeah, it's really hard to see those catalogs coming in. You know it's coming out six months uh, before it does and you're like, Damn it, I have to get this. Damn it, I have to well, get that. The only thing, only thing I'm looking forward to in September or whenever they come out with it is the uh, Marvel Zombies. Oh, nice. I'll have to give me some of those. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I got to give me some of those. Why? But that's the only thing, though. That's the only thing. But we also I'm not into anime. <laughs> I'm not into the old school shows anymore. Unless they bring out Family Matters or... <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> man, I like your style. Thank you for joining us today, man. Mm -hmm. And definitely, if you need anything, message us and introduce yourself. Haley's watching us from Australia. We got people all over the world on this show. So uh, introduce yourself and thank you for joining, man. This yeah, is cool. Man. I'm glad you're the first person I tried this on. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. It's split no screen on the phone. You have a great day, brother. You too. All right. That was really cool, guys. Um, wow, that was really awesome. Derry Harriman, Dave Harriman, how are you doing? I just sent you a wave. There's a couple other things I have on the eBay store. We have the uh, Merciless Onslaught first appearance of Caprice. 
I know there is a naughty version of these probably on our main store, Coffee Thomas Shop. You'll find the link up there. Click on it and do some searching and find some cool stuff for yourself. Another thing to lure you in with. God, I can't talk today. It's freaking Monday. Nightmare Symphony Hall of Foil. Gorgeous piece. I think I had a couple Nick and Dents come in. They may already be sold out, or I should say Scratch and Dents. Um, but this one is a regular edition. No scratching, no denting, no damage. So, and then for those who've been scooping up all of the uh, Scratch and Dent, um, I am looking to... Once I finish up um, with some other stuff this week, I'm hoping to load up some more stock. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that for all you guys that have been scooping up uh, scratch and dents for your reader copies to hand out to people. So, and I'll even get those signed. Someone asked for his to get signed. Got him signed. Another beautiful hollow foil. This is Scorcher by Don McTay. Very beautiful image. I really like how that reflects the light too. That is just really stunning, 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 stunning. Sketch variants for Lady Death. Um, I have some original art covers. Uh, I do have an original art La Huerta done by the series artist uh, Joel Gomez. And one of those, usually uh, anything original art that I do get Lady Death is usually scooped up. Um, but there is something, Josh, that's really neat. They're called hand, um, my handcrafted edition. Those are all hand colored by one gentleman. And we usually publish about 20 on average. Um, but each cover is colored differently. So no two covers look alike. So there is some really unique stuff on my eBay store. Um, Josh, for you, just, we do things a little different. We don't do call outs. You'll notice links. Click on those links. That's where you'll find your stuff to go shopping. If you want to try out the newest Lady Death graphic novel, you'll find a link there that'll link you for the first 15 pages to try out. So that's on there too. And then also sign up for our v VIP newsletters because that'll let you know when we have stuff like Art Germ exclusives. You now have, I think we have less than uh, 40 minutes now. We have exactly... 38 minutes to get these art germ editions. You have 38 minutes. I have been with Coffin for a year and seven months now. <laughs> um, I've known Brian. Uh, I met Brian in the summer of 94 when I first started working in comic book retail. Um, I didn't know him as the writer of Evil Ernie or Lady Death. He was just, oh, that cool guy, Brian, that moved here that buys Godzilla stuff because I'm the big Godzilla guy, so he, that's how I knew him. Um, and then my boss was like, oh, you know, Brian writes some comics you might like. And I was like, oh, what? And he dropped the Evil Ernie and uh, Lady Death on my head, and I was like, dude, I read your books, and I freaking love them. And that's how I met Brian and Fran. It was 94. And... Atomic Comics in Mesa, Arizona. Great summer. 1994 was a great summer. Uh, another item I have, guys, and this is, um, I don't know, this might be similar to what you might look for, uh, Josh, but uh, this is the Scorched Earth Homage Edition, and it actually has a Stephen Butler remark on it. I only have one of these. Uh, I was going to show off another remark edition I had, uh, but that got scooped up really fast, so... Um, some stuff I might be showing y'all, they might already be gone because there's some folks, the minute I'm posting stuff, they're grabbing them that quick. So jump in if you can. Um, message me if you're looking for anything. I do have a customer request list. So if I stumble across something old or, mm, excuse me, unique, um, I can at least reach out to y'all and say, hey, I got something you might be interested in or there's something I found that's on your list. Are you interested? So let me know. I've got a nice little list compiled. This one is really cool. Mockups. I have a malevolent, now I can't say it right, Decimation Black Metal Mockup Edition. This one we only made onesies of, so this is it. Mockups uh, we use for our video presentation, so, and all our videos, so these are sold as is. Uh, however, the metal covers are pretty dang sturdy. Um, 
So yeah, mock-ups are what we use for all our little videos. Uh, normally they are blank on the inside. There's no text in the interiors. Um, this one being a metal cover, it actually does have the book, has the nice little mock-up logo. And uh, when I get done with the show, I'll be putting up the mock-up COA that goes with it. That explains what the mock-ups one are, were, are, and what they will be for you in your collection. So other cool stuff I got on eBay for you guys. You like the classics. I have the Evil Ernie Youth God Wild. This is signed. I have some signed editions. These all right here. If you want to read the beginning of Lady Death, the beginning of it all right here. Hey, everybody. Come on in. Good morning. Good afternoon. Not good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, sir. Another cool item we got. We also have another classic Evil Ernie. This is the Revenge Trade Paperback. These are also signed that I have. Drop the COAs in them when I ship them out. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining me today. Haley, I see you have a question. Let's see what that is. Oh, oh hey, Ace. Welcome. Next year, I'm totally going to get you drunk and say malevolent decimation. No, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, how do you like the new death metal series? I am way behind on my uh, DC metal stuff. Actually, I'm like way behind on my DC reading period lately. Um, since I've left comic book retail, I only really focus on the coffin stuff. So, um, yeah, I haven't read too much. All I know is there's amazing stuff. And lately, I mostly pick up um, graphic novels. Um, I just can't carry around short boxes anymore. Another cool thing I got on eBay, Lady Death Scorch Shirt number one. It's a 9.6 yellow label, CGC graded. This is the Go Ass edition. I only have one of these on the store of eBay right now. Um, we probably be getting more slap books in in the future. So right now I only have three left, and I'm going to show them to you guys today. I also have the Scorched Earth. Whiteout edition. If I recall, these were all randomly tipped in to people's orders for a Scorchworth Kickstarter. How are you? Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Hello. Hello. And. Another really beautiful book I have. Another Scorched Earth 9.4 CGC Yellow Slab book. This is the Heavy Metal Edition. Of course, it's got Brian's signature right there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love slab editions. The one thing I, I, if I ever had a collection like I used to, um, I'd probably slap some of my really old horror comics I got from my... Uh, uncles and whatnot when i was a kid growing up i really wish i had some of that stuff um but you know when you're a kid you don't know better you're just reading books all right some stuff we offer on the store we offer lots of weird stuff i mean little things big things i mean we've got that big sworn poster that's got um the entire team running at you it's a beautiful poster it's huge and we also stuff nice and tiny things like, I don't know, challenge coins. No one's familiar. Um, challenge coins, uh, if I recall, my history is a old military um, tradition where people challenge you, you pull out your coin, and whoever doesn't have a coin buys the drinks. So we have carried on that tradition. These are really fun little pieces. I have one on me at all times because as Brian and then warned me, you need to be prepared in case you get challenged. So anytime someone says, uh, coin up, just got to open up the wallet, bring out my old one, or if I want, let's go ahead and break out that new one. So yeah, I got both. Um, I'd like to, I've seen some other people's challenge coin collections and they're really freaking cool. So we even have a set uh, of three on the site too, uh, gold, uh, copper and silver are the three colors in that, and it's a really nice display box. So if you're interested in something like that, definitely check it out at the Coffin Comic Shop. Some of the cool stuff. 
enamel pins. This is one of the newest ones. It's the Lady Death one. She is on the store. These are running about $10 for the enamel pins. It's got the nice double post. And I like these ones are metal. It's really nice because um, sometimes this stuff, if you have like a leather jacket or stuff, they fall off. So my friends back in high school, we would solder our pens onto our leather jackets and whatnot so uh, we wouldn't lose them if they fell off because sometimes they do. That's something neat to find in the store. Some of the cool stuff, um, trading cards. We've got trading cards. We've got uh, lots of fun little stuff like this nice, beautiful little Lady Satanist trading card for a coffin purse. Little items like this. Tells you who did the art for that image. The card number it is in the set. Coffin verse. <clears throat> Here's the Sworn. It's also a item you can get on the Coffin Comic Shop. And this is the Sworn Attack, Diego Bernard, Allison Rodriguez, and Cece Dela Cruz, uh, artist, inker, and colorist. So it's really neat that we include that kind of stuff in there. So one thing I thought that was really cool uh, that we do here at Coffin is how we really, you know, tell you the name of the artist, the inkers, and the colorists. It's great. It's another beautiful card. This is the Trinity. Which one is this? Trinity Feeds. And these, if I recall correct, are about a dollar. Um, double signs, yes, I get those quite often. Um, sometimes, you know, Brian signs so many stuff that sometimes um, he'll accidentally sign it again because um, he gets pulled off to do something. So I get these cool brand, he's like, oh, I got something fun for you, and they're little double signs. So, yes, usually double signs means it's signed two times by Brian. And just for the heck of it, I don't need to throw in the two gift certificates, the COAs, but I'll do it anyways just out of fun because... I mean, it's kind of silly. It's kind of cool. Um, and it's something neat to throw up there on eBay because sometimes people in the store, they just don't want to buy that stuff. So they give it to me and I give it to you as a present for you to check out and buy on the eBay store. Excellent. Another card that we sell on the Coffin Comic Shop. These are usually a dollar. This is a Blassie Anthony, Anthem. <laughs> Anthony. Oh, my goodness. This is the memorial card, uh, Jamie Tyndall and CC De La Cruz. You say these cards are about a buck. Fun little things. We even got buttons, fun little buttons as well. We even have magnets. Here's some example of a couple of the magnets we have. I think these are our newest offerings right now on the store. So fun little refrigerator magnets. Um, it's cool. Um, here is we've made so many magnets that the magnet uh the refrigerator in the um uh, break room for staff is completely just covered in magnets and stickers and i think we ran out of room so we might need to we're gonna need a bigger fridge there we go that's what we need some other fun stuff that we offer and these are only three dollars these are little mini prints we offer if i recall correct they are six by nine <laughs> Ace, thank you for joining us. I'm glad you're here. I hope uh, things are going well for you out in Utah. Hope the weather is lovely. Please don't tell me the temperature because I might have to drive up there and, um, yeah, maybe throw some hot heat on you because the temperatures here are just disgusting. This is a La Muerta Bang Bang mini print, $3, gorgeous. And, yes, Brian will sign mini prints too. Anything we offer in the store – if Brian's able to sign it, he'll sign it. So never hesitate to ask. <gasps> Cougar, where have you been? Oh, my God, Cougar, it's so nice to see you. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? How are you, Troy? I'm going to send you away, Troy. Good afternoon. Another really cool little mini print, 6 by 9 This is the Lady Death Slays. Um, so these are only 3 bucks, folks. Get them while we got them. Another really fun homage that uh, Marat did for us. Uh, the criminal death. It's great. Also known as Strike. It's 88. Ace, I hate you. Oh, 
Also, some other things that are available still for the Summer of Sin guys, get them while we still have them. We still have some of the Mendoza Nice Editions. Get them while we got them, because once they're gone, poof, they're gone. That's it. So we got a few of these left. We even have a few of the Mendoza Swimsuit Naughty. So we have a few of these. Again, I love that little, just the little thing he did with her toes. It's awesome. It's like she's playing in the sand. Those fun details, I love looking at art with. We also have the uh, Mike DeBalfo Nice Edition. We still have a few of these left. Get them while we can. Get them, get them, get them. Uh-oh. Do we have a special guest today with us? Do we? Do we? Everybody. Look who's in the house. It's Fran. Hey, everybody. Wow. I am wearing skulls. <laughs> This is why I love doing the shows out here, because it's fun when people walk in. It's like, oh, hey, who came in today? So we got a little special guests throughout the day. So, yay. You guys doing good today? Doing good. How about you? Uh, I'm going to get a new car tonight. Woo! You know what car? What's that? Do you know what you're getting? Yes. It's a Hyundai, um, kind of like, um, kind of like their SUV hatchbacks. Oh, nice. So we can take it camping, and it's a lot sturdier, and I can put more stuff in it to move around. We like that. We, we're, we're in comics. We need <laughs> room for boxes. Yes. Always make room for boxes. Always so. make room for boxes. So, yeah. So that's what I'll be doing right after this show. We're going to run out and Yay. go to the car dealership. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We need the second vehicle really yeah. bad. Well deserved. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, after I showed you the DeBalfo Nice, I got to show you the DeBalfo Naughty. We still have a few of these left, guys. Get them while you can. Oh, Cougar says she loves your mask. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> oh, everyone's saying hello, El Presidente. Oh, people. <laughs> Our people. Our people. I'm trying to keep it so no one wants to kill uh, Ace because right now he's like, well, it's 88 degrees out. I'm like, oh, dude. In winter? Uh, in Utah, apparently. <laughs> That's lovely. Here's one I don't think I've shown you guys yet. Um, this is on the store. We're running quickly out of these. This is uh, Monty Moore's um, Seasons of the Abyss Spring Edition. Really beautiful one. I really especially love the detailing he did with the bear on this. I saw the, uh, the sketches uh, of it, the pencils on it, and it was really gorgeous. But once the color was added, it just makes it pop so much more. I even really love the inclusion of the fireflies up along there in the background. So really beautiful piece by Monty Moore. This is the Oblivion Kiss number one, Seasons Spring Edition. There was 150 made. This is number 126 I grabbed out of the front of the box, guys. So we are running out of these. So maybe uh, close to 30 or under on these. So... You like what you see, you're a Monty Moore fan, get it, because it will be gone. So that's some of the stuff from the Summer of Sin. I also need to remind you guys, see, how much time do we have left? You have exactly 27 minutes to buy the Art Germ exclusives. Regular edition, vegan edition, the metal cards, 11 by 17 prints, and the beautiful fine arts. The orders for the books need to be in by 5, everybody. 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Once those orders are in, that's it. Whatever amount sold is the amount produced. So if you haven't gotten it yet, well, now's your chance. We still got them available. You get it while you can. I'm pivoting too much. I feel like Reagan from The Exorcist. My head is spinning around. All right. See? Joseph Hardy left us. Everybody, I hope you liked uh, Joseph Hardy. He was uh, a new member who just, um, just started uh, checking us out today, so I thought I'd bring him on. I thought that was really fun, and I think that's something I'm going to definitely do in the future. It was fun to kind of get a face with the name, 
So uh, randomly, unless you guys don't want me to, I might randomly pick one of you guys throughout the weeks to go live with me and kind of wrap uh, on the uh, show. I thought that was a lot of fun. So um, if you're not interested in that, um, definitely let me know because I would hate to put something somebody online um, who didn't really feel comfortable with it. So let me know. All right. Some other cool things we really uh, do and we have on the shop incentives mega incentives uh, premium foils we do a little bit of everything so what i wanted to show is some of the what an incentive and mega incentive looks like and let you guys see what we have some additions i do not have anymore so if you notice a skip in the storyline uh, as i present these to you or i don't have a incentive or mega incentive that means we sold out or there's just none to be found at the moment um but all of these are available at the coffin comic shop um so let me just show you what we have for you guys there. We have the Chaos Rules, number one, Incentive Edition. Richard Ortiz is the artist. Beautiful imaging. And one thing I like about our Incentives colors, they're just white colors with the gray art. And I really like how that looks. This is almost something like, um, if I had the right equipment, I'd buy it and just try to do my best to uh, color the cover because that would be a lot of fun. That's a gorgeous piece. Gorgeous. You can find this at the comic shop. And this is um, from Don McTay. This is the Chaos Rules number one. This is what an Omega incentive one looks like. Omega incentives are all red covers with the black artwork. Really nice. I really like how it looks. This is another piece that just they really pop. And of course, anything that you guys get signed either at the Coffin Comics shop or the eBay store will definitely slap a COA in the back of your order along with your book. Also, folks, if you're ordering from eBay, um, for some of you who have noticed, I've been tipping in 15% off coupons. Please use those. We want those to get used to, for you to pick up some other stuff and get you a great deal. And it's almost a small way of us saying thank you for checking out the eBay store. Check out the Granddaddy store now. So I hope you guys have been enjoying those. Uh, thank you, everyone who's been uh, – I saw the post about throwing in the stickers. I'm glad you like the stickers. I'll keep throwing them in until I have no more. Damnation Game Incentive. Richard Ortiz again. I love – and the anger, the fierceness he put on her face. That is just really beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. It's an incentive edition. And then uh, Sabine Rich did the Damnation Game Mega Incentive. And that is just a very beautiful, lovely piece. It's very soft and flowery. I love the tattoo. I think that tattoo is gorgeous. And I love the flowers she put in her hair. It's just very beautiful. Uh, Sabine Rich does some really beautiful, beautiful imagery for us. And um, I think we're blessed to have her along with all the other artists we have that present these beautiful pieces of artwork that um, we like to put out for you guys every month. So uh, Extinction Express, I'm all sold out of the incentive covers on those, but I still have a few of the mega incentives left. Again, another beautiful piece of art by Richard Ortiz. So I have a few of these left. Like I say, folks, a lot of this stuff is selling out. Um, so if there's something you see, get it. Cougar, I was hoping you'd be watching today. That's why I grabbed those Ortiz. That ain't no lie. Um, I'm so glad you're on the show. I haven't seen or heard from you in a while. I'm glad you're doing well. So everybody, uh, say hi to Cougar. I haven't seen her on the show in a while. Great customer. She's a great fiend, and she's sworn along with all of us. So everyone introduce yourselves to her. Oblivion Kiss, this is the incentive cover. Another Richard Ortiz. Beautiful. I sold the, uh, this imagery was for a slabbed edition. I think it was Blood Moon. And I had a publisher file I put on uh, the eBay store. I don't know if it's still there, but um, yeah, it's gorgeous when it's colored. Just this, this, the slight, light little bits of red. Oops. Sorry, it was not an earthquake. That was me tripping everybody. All right, next up is the Oblivion Kiss Mega Incentive Edition. Again, this is from Mike Chrome. 
beautiful, beautiful detailing. I mean, look at all this cool stuff. I love all the skulls in the archway behind her. Just look at the detailing on that. This is another thing I really, I think I really like about the incentives and mega incentives. You can really see a lot of the um, detailing in the backgrounds of these books. Just really stunning pieces. I mean, they got a detailed little dragon on her chonies. I couldn't do that. I wouldn't even thought of draw, uh, draw something like that. Another really cool Richard Ortiz. This one's just cool. This one's just so badass. Merciless Onslaught 1. This is the incentive of Richard Ortiz. I love that is such a groovy image of her on that bike. Actually, if I could ride a motorcycle without killing myself, I would want it to look like that. And I want the skull to be the headlamp. Just bright, bright, bright white with the red eyes. Scare people as you come driving down the street. Another thing you will find, call the comic shop, click on the links and head on over. Head over, head over. Red Rover, Red Rover. I'm going to take a pause for a quick drink, folks. Please discuss things amongst yourself. Let's not use bad language. We're all adults here. So, what are we talking about? Yeah, you can use bad language. I shan't, because I don't want to get in trouble with Facebook. Next up, Merciless Onslaught number one. Megan sent up another Richard Ortiz for you, Cougar. Look at that. Stunning. It's beautiful. It's Richard Ortiz. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Dan the Man Doza on Holy Ruin. This is the incentive cover he did. He did the incentive covers for on, on Holy Ruin 1 and 2, and I'll be showing you that. 90 proof. Oh, 90 proof. <sighs> Dang, Haley, you're really going to get me drunk. Man. Ah, one of my favorites. Uh, Mike DePascal did this one for us. This is the Unholy Ruin number one, Mega Incentive Edition. And that is a nice shout out to Elvira right there. Beautiful imagery. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That gives you life? What's giving you life? 95 proof alcohol? Drinking like fish. Hey, Cougar, you put me to shame. <laughs> 95, 90, 95 proof gives you life, girl. That sounds absolutely insane. That just, wow. All right, you've impressed me. Um, Unholy Ruin number two, another Dan Mendoza. I just love the quirkiness and the fun he puts in his artwork. It's just fun. And either you get it or you don't. But that look and the look on the guy's chest as he had it ripped out by Lady Death, I love it. This is cute. This is adorable. It's humorous. It totally is dark humor, which is right up our alley. So thank you, Dan, for another amazing work, piece of work you gave us. A red vinyl, black Lady Death cover. Um, I would totally, I would totally be down with that. Another Richard Ortiz, Cougar, get ready. This is the Unholy Rolling number two, Mega Incentive Edition. And there's a whole lot of booty in that one. Boom. Her cutoffs literally just cut out. Another beautiful Richard Ortiz one. Gorgeous piece. And then we got to give it up to Marat Michaels, the man, the legend, the homage artist. He did this incentive cover for us for Apocalyptic Abyss. This is also available at the Coffin Comic Shop. Um, I'd like to see how that would look, Ace. Actually, I, I think that would be a really cool idea. I think that'd be a nice imagery. Another Apocalyptic Vist Numero Uno Mega Incentive Edition. Beautiful. All this stuff, just click on the links to the Coffee Comic Shop. And then that'll take you to where you need to go. Do some looking around. 
type in incentives or mega incentives or challenge coin or whatever it is you're looking for under the merchandise is where you'll find um, some of the uh, trading cards and the mini prints I showed you guys uh, earlier. So definitely mess, check around the site. It's really easy to manage. It's a lot of fun to navigate and it gives you a lot of information uh, on our stuff. Um, there's even a whole history thing. So it's really cool uh, what everyone's been really doing on the uh, website there. I need a bib for drilling. You and me both, brother. <laughs> Here you go, Mike DeBalfo. This is the incentive edition for Apocalyptic Abyss number two. Now, some people uh, have asked what's the difference with Apocalyptic one and two. Well, for the direct market, we take our Kickstarter editions and we actually uh, cut them in half. Um, mostly, uh, I think it's Lady Death we do that too, where it's a 24 page comic book in each. So there's an issue one and an issue two for the direct market. Um, so those are traditionally uh, $4.99 cover price uh, when you pick it up the shops or if you order it direct from us. So a lot of people are like, how come some editions say one, some say one and two? Well, the ones that are one and two are definitely for your comic book shop markets, bookstores, whoever wants to carry us, we'll get it in their hands and have them carry it. This is the Make It Incentive for Apocalyptic Abyss number dos. This is a Micron cover. And if I recall, uh, this image was used for a handcrafted edition, which I think I might have a few floating around on eBay. Um, maybe not. I know um, a lot of my stock on eBay is getting thin. So I'm definitely going to be upping it up, especially with some scratch and dead stuff, because I have lots of that I just need to get rid of. And I like making deals. Nightmare 71, this is the incentive cover for that. Stephen Butler is the artist. You may uh, recognize the name. He did a lot of our homage editions over the years. Along with him, Dan Feldmeyer and Marat Michaels, of course. Hi, Bob. How are you doing, Bob? Hope you've been well. Everybody, everyone, let's do one big shout out to Bob. I want to see just say hi, Bob, on the feed all at once, just so Bob knows everyone's watching and loving on him. Everyone say hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. That's my hi, Bob, to you. Another beautiful Don McTeague Nightmare Symphony 2 Incentive Edition. There is indeed. Hi, Bob. Hey, everyone's doing Hey, hi, Bob. Please fill it up with hi, Bob. That's what I want to see. Everyone give a shout out to Bob. <laughs> this is a lady death uh revelations this is another incentive done by richard ortiz cougar another richard ortiz <laughs> yay my feed is full of hi bobs and howdy bobs that's awesome god i love you guys everyone on here rocks every one of you rock thank you you guys make this so much fun this is what the uh, Mega Incentive Edition for the um, Revelations. I believe this is a uh, Sabine Rich. Who's the artist on this? I think it's Sabine. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, Sabine Rich. I was right. Beautiful. Mega incentive. I'm also running low on these, uh, as well as the Zodiac one, too. Uh, I don't know if they're on the page or not. I know there's still some stuff. Um, we're trying to get the right numbers to get it all loaded up. <laughs> You're welcome, Bob. I'm glad I could do that for you. I hope you had uh, a great weekend, dude. This is the Lady Death Hell Raiders number one. This is the incentive edition. I think Jamie Tyndall did this image for us. Gorgeous. I like that she's just riding that bomb and she's just going to nuke whoever that's for. You're done. Done for. Game over, man. Game over. But there's also some other cool stuff. Um, some people, they just want an edition, 
to read. Um, not everyone's a collector. Well, for you non-collectors, some of the stuff we have in the store is Lady Death Rules Volume 1. This is a hardcover edition. And this covers the first three chapters of Lady Death's um, Coffin Comics series. So if you were reading her in the 90s and you guys were really um, eating all that old chaos stuff up and you're like, well, where should I start off next? We'll go right here with Lady Death Rules Volume 1. This is the hardcover edition. And then, let's say this will have the first three chapters. But then, we also have Volume 2, which just recently came out, I want to say this year. And this one has four chapters. So this will have chapters 4, 5, 6, and 7. Between the two editions, that's the first seven chapters in the Coffin Comics Lady Death Saga. And then from there, you pick up the La Muerta um, rules. That'll give you the first three chapters and pick up the other editions from there if you want. I mean, our books are gorgeous. They're 48 pages or more. So like mini graphic novels, um, they remind me a lot, if uh, Bob might recognize this terminology, but prestige formatted books uh, in the 70s and 80s where they were like thicker cardstock. Uh, they weren't stapled. They were glued in covers and stuff like that. I think Bob knows what I'm talking about. Then another really cool edition, if you're into um, hardcover editions, we also have limited signed editions. And these are beautiful. I really love that, my chrome art. But not only that, this isn't all you get with this. On this, you also get the beautiful mini print and the awesome hollow foil card. And these are unique just to this edition. I believe we only made 250 of these. So once these are gone, that is it. So looks great on a bookshelf. It's uh, something that you can hand out, let people read without worrying about, oh, God, they damaged or they lost my book. Graphic novels. Also, another announcement to make for you guys. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? You have eight minutes left to buy the Art Germ Editions. These are the last two ones available, regular and vegan art. Once these are gone, that's it. We're only making what was ordered. There's also still a few metal cards left, not many, but get them while you got them. 11 by 17 art prints, we have those available. And the fine art collections, these things are great. Had to break out a couple easels to display them for you guys. We put them in some nice top loaders, so they say uh, nice and straight so you can look at them. Beautiful, beautiful works of art by Art Germ, guys. This is the first time we're doing one of these with an artist this big that's not a Kickstarter. So this is um, hopefully the beginning of something new we're going to try. Um, so I want to make this as successful as possible. And it's Art Germ. It's Art Germ doing a Lady Death comic that's not a Kickstarter. So this is just amazing. This is just big news for us. We're really excited here at Coffin Comics. And as with anything, you know, we're excited to have you guys as our customers and for you guys to join me every week. Those who follow us on all the great um, Kickstarter programs, all the great promo videos, just really all the fun that we have here at Coffee Comics all the time with you guys because we do it for you. One, because we love it. And two, we love you. And we try to make things as fun, as exciting as possible for y'all. Try to straighten that out. Try to make it so you can't get a nice full shot up my nose. Because God only knows if there's boogies in there, and you guys don't want to see it. Oops, we went too high. Okay, there we go. You guys got to see what the ceiling looks like, though. So, again, um, mega incentives and incentive covers. Um, these are what I wanted to show off to you guys today. This is stuff that is available at the Coffin Comics. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, shop. You'll see the link up there. Click on it and do your shopping. Um, and if there's anybody who has any questions for me at all, please message me, reach out to me, or if you have questions for anything to do with customer service or orders, please reach out to us at inquiries at coffincomics.com and we will get in touch with you and get everything rolling. And then also, we probably have less than five minutes to get those art germ collections, art germ books. You have five minutes to place your orders. If you've been hemming and hawing, no time to him and haw. This is it. As soon as it hits five o'clock our time, 
We just only got a few minutes left. We're done. Shut her down. Silly. Yes. You actually have six minutes. I was lying about the five, six. But you're still running out of time, so get it in while you can. Get those numbers in. Get your orders in. Because once they're gone, that's it. Don't go, goo hoo, I missed out. Nah, oh, man. We've been pimping it. We're throwing it out there. This is a big deal for us. Some other cool things to check out still with the Summer of Sin. Monty Moore's Season Spring Edition. So we got a few of those left. Still got a couple of the DeValpo Naughty and the DeValpo Nice. So get those. These are part of the Summer of Sin collections. Click on that logo up top there, and you'll be able to see these editions that are available to you. We still have a few of the Mendoza Naughty. Still have a few of the Mendoza Nice as well. So if you guys have been him and on on the whole swimsuit stuff, scoop them up. Get them all we got them. That's what we got them. This is when Brian first told us about this, I thought it was very cool to have a swimsuit issue come out uh, now because it's been 15 years, I think, since we've done a Lady Death one. So thank you, everyone, who's picked everything up from us. We really appreciate it. We do it love because we love you. All right. Four more minutes. So you guys got four more minutes to get the art germ books. Haley, fair enough to have me add an art germ print from Zora. We're going to share the shipping. That's very cool. And that's one thing I really like about the community we have here for you sworn and all the fiends. People just helping each other out to complete their orders, split the cost on shipping because it's coming to the same place. And just everyone's backing each other up. I really, really so thank you, everybody. Um, I really love seeing you guys um, help each other out. And Ace, might be the only art germ for a while. Um, yeah, that's true. It, it ain't easy to get an artist this big and just a non-Kickstarter books. Anyone who's dealt with this in the past knows that artists this big, usually these type of covers are only available on a Kickstarter. This is the first time we're offering it outside of a Kickstarter, and it's a new piece of art. It's not something that we're reusing. It's an original new piece for us, and we're offering it to you. Two minutes. You got two minutes. Is that correct? Oh, no, two and a half minutes. So I'm going to be wrapping up here in a bit. Some of the other fun stuff we've thrown out on eBay. We got some uh, old Evil Army graphic novels, black metal mock ups. I got the one and only Stephen Butler remark Scorched Earth, my only one. That's it. And a bunch of other stuff. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. They say you now have two minutes, two minutes to get your art journal books. We're all running out of time. We're running out that clock, everybody. Beautiful hollow foils. Bling, bling, bling. These are on the eBay store and at the Coffin Comics shop online. So check it out, guys. Lots of great stuff. First appearance, Caprice. Got some of those on eBay. Not many. Stock running low. Vault edition, vampire hollow edition for all you vampire goth fans. Yeah, I, want, I married the goth queen. See you, Jules. Later, Coop. Take it easy. See you tomorrow, man. All right, guys. Wrap it up. My clock is running out, and so is your time to get the art germ editions that are available right now. Go on to the Coffin Comic Shop. Place your orders down. It's going to shut down. It's going to shut down. We're down to the wire. We're down to the wire. Another thing I'm offering, last copy of the Merciless Onslaught Caramia for all you Gomez Adams and Morticia Adams fan. I'm a Morticia fan. Um, last chance to get Unholy Ruin, signed Mega Foil Edition, as well as the Unholy Ruin Metal Editions. I got about three or four of these left. And this is the last copy I have of the Apocalyptic Abyss Jeweled Edition, signed by Brian right down there in the corner. Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. This is your last 30 seconds to get the art germ things on the Coffin Comic Store. I've been Julian the Hooligan, and I'm sworn to you. I'll talk to you guys next week. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful, awesome, amazing week. Talk to you later.